Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. It is Brett here with the Tuning School, and today we're going to be taking a look at operating system upgrades. Um, the reason I wanted to shoot this video is because I've had people as of recently trying to explain to me that their HP Tuners is asking them for more credits after performing this upgrade. Now, the reality is, for about the last four years, this has not been the case. Well, very long time ago, so from kind of the existence of HP Tuners, until four years ago, um, you did have to pay extra credits, but starting four years ago, they did away with that feature, um, basically allowing it to not cost you any extra money. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to test this ourselves. I'm sitting inside of Chase's 2001 Silverado. This thing has not had HP tuners hooked up to yet. It's not even been licensed. And so we're going to go through this process really quickly. And so um, first off, I wanted to point out today's uh, October 13th. This is the latest uh, stable version as of today. So I just downloaded and installed this. So the software, my software is going to be up to date to what HP Tuners has today. Um, I went ahead and purchased credits on the MPVI2 unit that Chase has. So I'm going to resync that interface now. Um, and it should place those two credits onto there. And as you can see, two credits were added, which is good. So that's what we needed to do. And so now that we've got that done, I'm going to read the file out of Chase's truck. So I'm going to turn the key on. And I'm going to select read vehicle. Now it's a great rule of thumb for those of you that don't know. You want to select gather info first because it's going to tell you the modules that you have available. Uh, now this is important because oftentimes on newer, later model vehicles, um, there's going to be multiple modules. Engine modules, transmission modules, and sometimes there's a fuel system control module. Now most of the time you're not going to need to read that module. You can just select do not read for any module you don't want. And if you did read the fuel system control module, it's going to require an extra credit for you to license the vehicle. And so it's usually something that you want to try to avoid, which may in fact be the cause of the problems people are experiencing at home. Maybe not. I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to keep going through here and see what we find. So I'm going to go ahead and select read. And as you can see, it's going to take us about two minutes to get the file out of this truck. All right. So now we are wrapping up the read. It's going to get us our file. We can go ahead and save this inside of our computer. I'm just going to go ahead and actually just put this on the desktop. It'll be the easiest thing to do. So we'll say Chase 01 Silverado. We'll call this file pull. Awesome. So now we've got the file open. And so at this point, we'll be able to go and make any changes to the file that we want. But before we do that, what I want to go ahead and do as I want to go ahead and select to write to vehicle. By doing this, it's going to prompt me to apply credits. So I'm going to say show license, op show license options. And as you can see, I've got two credits available. It costs two credits to license this specific truck. And I'm going to say OK. And then it's going to give me a warning here that says this action cannot be undone. Um, credits will not be refunded. I'm going to say yes. And at this point, we're good. So now we can go ahead and upload to this vehicle. So we're, we've now licensed it. We can go ahead and write anything that we would want to. And so what I'm going to do instead of moving forward is I'm going to perform a two or three bar speed density upgrade. And we're going to go ahead and do three bar just for good measure. So I'm going to say apply code modification. It's going to tell me to complete the HPT OS enhancement, follow the steps, save the file with a new name, close the current file, open the new file, and use the right entire process to write to the vehicle. So I'm going to say OK. So at this point, I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to call this three bar OS test. Now I can close this file and open that three bar OS test, and I'm going to write it to the vehicle. And as you can see here, it didn't ask me for credits. And so this is going to be the process for writing to the vehicle when it comes to an operating system upgrade. Now I want to also select Right entire, you have to do right entire when doing an OS upgrade. As you can see here, from what I just saw, it did not ask me for additional credits. So if it's asking you for additional credits, somewhere in this process, you've done something different with the steps, um, and there's going to be some sort of issue. But as you can see, this is going to be the process for doing it. And so hopefully that helps you guys out at home that are attempting to do this operating system upgrade. <laughs> 